G'day everyone, it's John here again. What we're gonna take you through is the weld simulation uh, feature that's standard on every smart or UT set. We're gonna go through setting up the work piece, the material details and information like that. We're going through calibrating the probe, and going through setting that up. And then obviously what it actually looks like on screen running the simulation, looking at the skip, uh, on screen as well as getting our full a scan information uh, i'm sure that's going to lead to better reporting for you and your customers you're going to get live feedback and everyone is going to understand it just that little bit more stay tuned Okay, so if we go into here, change it to 21 millimeters or this uh, steel plate here. Okay, the materials mold steel, that's fine. Now we've got some weld options. We can do a simple single groove here, or if we could change the groove to twin, it already sets the parameters up there, uh, identifying everything with letters and then we we so a b c d uh, h g i it's, it's all that information and then just input it in here so it's going to ask us for all that the rest of the information put it in there or update it if we go to if you if you know more information about your world we can go from a simple uh, well to a v half y x obviously there's so many uh, variations uh, that it will then just continue to ask you all your world geometry all the information that's available to input it in here okay so we're going to keep it as a simple uh, dual groove and the posi uh, position is going to be dual but we can also change these settings here as well we can go to the left side or to the right side so that's great so if you if you've got these geometries as well um, you can it's, it's all got that profile already in the standard basic unit okay once we've got the profile of the world set up we can then give it a workpiece name it might be a job number might be, be a particular asset details uh, this we could just going to use the ID of this steel plate and we'll insert that in now. Okay, now that the workpiece has been set up, we're going to move up into our weld wizard function. We're going to complete that setup. It's going to take us through a number of basic steps or in the pro setup, it's going to ask us and sell uh, the, the velocity, the probe delay, Kel relation or the angle, and also the DAT curves and adjustment of the parameters. So we can choose basic or pro. After that setup, we can then start getting into the main interface. Okay, so we've got our 60 degree probe on there. We've got our cable. Nice red cables. And we also got our special source. Okay, what we're seeing now here is the probe's not really fully set up yet. But once we uh, start working at a, at a distance, we can then um, adjust the distance of E. So from the, the top of uh, the cap right to the front um, point of the probe, the index point, we can then, it'll display the skip and it'll also display uh, what part of the world we're picking up any indications as the um, 
echoes start coming through the gates here. Let me show you as an example what that might look like without getting too specific on the actual de defects or indications and their sizing. Our weld simulation. So what we're going to first going to do from the flank of the probe to the top of the weld, we're going to measure and we're going to put in that data and we'll show you what that looks like. Let's bring this closer. So this is currently set at um, 58.5 and this is where it's coming to and we're closer to 50 why is it a 53 mil okay so here, so we can, the, the signal has dropped, but we can most easily find that again, or also adjust the dB, bring it up to 80% screen height again. This is what we're getting. This is the information. <laughs> Get the reflection of that. Okay, so this is the information we're getting here. It's giving us the distance, giving us the information. We can then save it into the profile and export it later on uh, when we're ready. So this is the weld simulation function. Uh, it's quite easy to set up uh, for any NTT inspector operator that's already in the job um, and you can quite easily go back to the rest of the job and continue his scanning in full screen mode. All right. There we go. Thank you very much. We'll see you around. Okay. It uh, looks pretty simple. Uh, probably is once uh, an experienced technician starts running with the equipment, but I'm sure it's going to lead to more effective inspections, probably a little bit more interesting interactions with customers. Once they start looking at it, maybe the welder's going to get interested, but you're going to be able to, 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 to show some indications. Obviously, uh, send it back to head office uh, for the reporting and verification of all our information. It's got to be more effective every step of the way. And your, what you deliver back to your customer in a more timely way that's already been generated on these sets as standard. As standard. Thank you very much. We'll see you around.